Welcome to a new format called Speed Paint Commentary. This is semi-realistic Miku and I'm gonna show you how I created her. I never sketch on a white background, cause if you add the colors later, oh no, you know what, it just hurts my eyes, okay? Sometimes I don't even sketch at all, but as you can see here, I did a sketch. And I concentrated way too much on the face. And I think I'm not the only one who has this habit, cause the rest of the body looks like this. And then you look up and yeah. Of course I did add some clothes and then I snapped her neck and erased her eyes because if I don't like the sketch what else am I supposed to do? At this point I was satisfied enough to actually add base colors. I also like to give the line art a bit of color and yeah I use my sketch as line art to kind of maintain that flow that to be completely honest who has the patience to do line art? Drawing the water was easy by the way. You just add some kind of shading and white edges and you're done. She still looks a bit pale though. Maybe she's freezing because the water's so cold. Ah, never mind, she's getting her makeup done. I mean, she's not cold anymore. That's something I like to imagine as well. How does the character feel? How does that environment feel? And then I was like, okay, maybe the water is cold, but not cold enough so that she's actually freezing. Maybe it's even kind of relaxing. And that's when I decided I wanted the atmosphere to be cooler and a bit more dark. Because looking straight into the sun, like she does here, is not relaxing in my opinion. <laughs> and of course I had to make the water darker as well. Now we're getting somewhere. I struggled a lot with the face because it somehow looked wrong. That's why I was like, let's leave it like that. Let's add some water effects and some shading. And that made me happy. And that's what kept me going. I also thought about changing the angle like this or like this or like this. But I'm glad that I kept the original one. But I still didn't like the face. I even created strong line art to find out what's wrong, but I didn't figure it out. No matter what I did, it just looked off. But I think it got better over time. The liquify tool is great. While I kept rendering, I somehow didn't notice that black point that stayed there like forever. Look, I'm finally shading the face. Black point. Here I'm shading even more. It's gone. Adding to that beautiful, dark, mysterious atmosphere. What is happening here? Why is she starting to glow? Well, because I thought that green light would look cool. And it does. And butterflies do too. They can even cover up parts of the face that you don't want anyone to see. But I like them. They're really pretty. Um, now what was that? I did not want to look up how butterflies look, but I think the edges look pretty cool. Fun fact, I actually didn't know anything about Vocaloid until last year, because I started playing Project Sekai and let's just say I fell into a hole and never got out of it to this day. But I know who Hatsune Miku is, it's not like I think that she's from the game, like originally. Don't worry. But also, how can you not know who Hatsune Miku is? <laughs> is this how butterflies look? I don't know. I mean, it looks cool. Here I was like, hmm, I think I'm finished. And then I was like, oh, sparkles. <laughs> and I kept adding more and more and more and more. And to give it a finishing touch, I made it a bit more blue. Adjusted a few colors, made a few corrections here and there. I'm very glad that I made that eye tinier. <laughs> That's for TikTok. Okay, this is the finished result. It took me seven hours and 27 minutes to be exact. I'm very happy with it. And tell me if you wanna see more speed paints like this. Bye.